in discourses like this, innumerable beings have woken up to the recognition of their eternal self. Somebody asked my master, Papaji, what must mankind do to be free? And he said, mankind must become kind man. I say, hey, it's true. What is the kindest man? The one who know himself. Mankind don't mean male kind, human kind. And Ramana Maharshi also say, all good qualities manifest spontaneously in the awakened mind, not cultivated even. It means inherently, when you realize what you are inherently, all goodness is outpouring from you. It's still there now. Uh, the rest is only the outpourings of a tormented mind otherwise. And my feeling is to remind you that state which is referred to by awakening or enlightenment, whatever. Often when we speak about it, we are referring to 2,000 years ago, 2,500 years ago, 7,000 years ago, 1,500 years ago. Hmm? So we are inclined to feel that this is an ancient thing that used to happen. But what we are is timeless. What we are is timeless, timelessly perfect. It's not a compliment that I am paying to you, but it really is a mystery that being this effortless being, how this confusion came about, how confusion come about, how suffering come about, and mostly through identifying with body. The body is innocent in all of this, but identifying ourself, we the consciousness. Hmm? And also when I speak of consciousness, I speak about the dynamic consciousness, which manifests as, as the one who is living and perceiving and experiencing, and the world that is being experienced, which we know in the waking state and in the dreaming state. But there is usually eight hours in any healthy person's life when you are none of these things. You are not a man or a woman, or you have no religion, have no belief, nothing about bound or free, none of these things exist for you. So the point I am making is, it seems the misery in all of this comes to us in our waking state. How are you in your waking state? Because in the deep sleep, uh, we are all equal. Uh, who is the king? Who is the beggar in the deep sleep? There is no trouble. There has never been any crime committed in deep sleep. No marriage, no divorce, no children, no husband, no belief, no religion in deep sleep. You have to come to the waking state to have the taste of these. So what we call existence is really the waking state and dreaming state. Isn't it incredible that as soon as the light of consciousness turns on, all of this show comes, this magic show of you and me and the world and time and space, life and death, religions, belief, hatred, the idea of unity and diversity, all of this comes. Surely the deep sleep is somehow a clue to us. Must be a clue. Any intelligent person must say, but wait a minute, I only suffer in this waking state. And I, I only am, so to speak, as I am in the waking state. And if this I amness, which is in the waking state, if it is eternal, 
where the hell is it in the deep sleep? Does eternity have night and days? If I were to say to you, in spite of this, I am not speaking or, or listening. There are no definitions that belong to myself, and I am speaking on behalf of you. Is it acceptable? Is it? In discourses like this, innumerable beings have woken up to the recognition of their eternal Self, 